on, you know the vibes, www.damecomic.com, D-A-Y-M-C-O-M-I-C.com. Click the link below, order your comic books right now. They're dropping in a few months. Don't be without one. Mm. What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Okay, so they had the SAG Awards last night. Uh, I saw that uh, Bridgerton had been nominated in the Best Ensemble Cast. Uh, really loaded category for them. Uh, what was it? Uh, Ozark, uh, Lovecraft Country, The Crown, and Better Call Saul, which is a personal favorite of mine, uh, along with Bridgerton. And uh, Bridgerton came up a little short. Um, they did not win the crown, won Best Ensemble Cast. They won a few awards. I saw Gillian Anderson won. Uh, she she had been cast as Margaret Thatcher on that show. And uh, they gave her, uh, you know, Best Female Lead or whatever. Um, so she won. Congrats to her. Um, but, yeah, Bridgerton came up a little short. But... The one thing that I really liked is they they did like the little Zoom call with all the little nominees and everything. Uh, some of that's actually on a uh, uh, Reggae Jean Page's uh, Instagram, uh, where you see a little clip of him with uh, the young lady that plays uh, Lady Whistledown. Uh, they were kind of cutting up on the Zoom. Doesn't look like there's any animosity since the announcement that he is going to be leaving. Uh, and will not appear in season two of Bridgerton, which is good. Everybody's everybody's doing their thing. Um, it's also coming out because he's been getting a lot of questions. Everybody's like, "Why? Are you, why'd you leave, man? The show's a hit." Blah blah blah. All this kind of stuff. It's coming out. I've seen a, a, on a couple of different websites. Apparently, uh, the Netflix people, the Shondaland people, they tried to give. Reggae Jean Page the bag. They tried to open up the Brinks truck and and uh, it's being reported that they offered to make him the highest paid actor on the show. So he was going to get more than anybody and he still was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm Y'all y'all do you and I'm going to do me and he went ahead and bounced anyway. I mean, he's getting so many opportunities now. It kind of it, it kind of what it reminds me of is when they had Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live and he wasn't even one of the featured players. He was just, you know, he was like one of the supporting people. And they were like, oh, God, this guy's a star. And by the time they finally figured it out, he was getting all these movie offers and they was like, yeah, well, I'll let y'all. And he dipped on and obviously Eddie Murphy's Eddie Murphy. So it kind of. They cast him, and I don't think they realized that he was going to, or that the show, they obviously they didn't expect the show to be this big of a hit this fast. And so that's why they only signed, if they knew that, they would have signed him to a multi-year deal, but they only signed him to a one-year deal. Uh, but, you know, salute to him. It looks like he's going, you know, he's shooting, what, the Gray Man, and he's shooting, uh, he's going to be, he's shooting that right now. They, they started shooting that like two weeks ago. And uh, they're shooting, uh, he's going to start shooting Dungeons and Dragons in a few months. So, I mean, he's getting opportunities. Salute to him. I, I ain't hating on anybody getting that bag. But uh, SAG Awards were pretty good. Did you watch it? Drop me a line. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please check out my podcast at anchor.fm slash Akari Press or just type in Akari Press on your favorite streaming platform today.